Hey guys, so I'm here to do a shadow work reading. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general there for the collective. So if anything doesn't resonate, just leave it, leave it for the Taurus who needs to hear it. I already can't speak. And of course, there is no gender in Tarot. Um, I'm going to kind of see what's going on with you internally. Let's see if I can get some advice on your journey here. Guys, make sure to like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you need to book a private personal reading, all the information is in the description below, as well as the pinned section of the comments. And I have also tagged my friend's channel if you want to check her out. The readings are really great. the energy for Taurus. Okay, so the overall energy here is dance. Allow yourself some fun each day, just as the sun dances with the moon each night. In the current, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. The challenge is a new start is coming. And the advice is the end of a tough cycle approaches. Tell me about a personal issue reaches resolution. We have the star. Six of swords. Bottom of the deck, I have the magician. So in the current, there's a lot of optimism. There's something that we moved forward with and it's working out really well. This is manifested energy, which makes it even better. It's like, this is exactly how you manifested this. It's coming in just as is. 
And so it's better than just the fact that your manifestation is here. It's that you are 100% aware that, that you can manifest. Perhaps in the past you sort of weren't in the right place, you know, like internally. You know, you weren't completely balanced. You weren't 100% sure of yourself and you certainly weren't optimistic, you know. And now you get to have fun with it. It's all working out. That's beautiful. Why is a new start coming the challenge? Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Strength. I don't think you like change much. <laughs> I think that's the big problem. And I feel like, you know what, maybe we're kind of looking into that too because we have strength in the Ten of Cups. So it's sort of like, sort of as things are going in the direction that you want, You almost want to hold yourself back. You have this, I don't know, is it like a fear to, to be happy or to be successful here? I don't know, it's kind of like a strange thing to say, but I mean like, I, I feel like the challenge here is understanding that maybe you're just not being like open enough with what you're doing here or You seem to be, the challenge is not restricting yourself. It's like whatever you want here also wants you, but you, if you hold back, you kind of won't be aligned for it. You know, it's sort of like, you know, when you start a business or a job or something and everything starts working out the way that you want it to, but then you're almost like too reserved or like too afraid to make any mistakes or take any risks beyond that. But it's just like an irrational fear. It's like a mental thing where, you know, maybe it's just a confidence thing. That's what it feels like. And the advice, you know, is the end of a tough cycle approaches with this. I already have like a bunch of that energy here anyway, but I feel like now what has to be closed out and, and it's showing itself to you here is this like self-doubt. I feel like that's basically what I'm looking at here. You're like too reserved maybe and you need to be a little more open or, or vulnerable. Why is the, the advice at the end of the tough cycle approaches? Okay. I have the devil, Capricorn energy, the knight of swords, the page of cups, and the five of cups. I mean, with the devil energy there, I feel, it's like I said, I feel like it's this like irrational fear of maybe how other people will view you or what they might think about you. It's almost like you know that you're super vulnerable with this. And it's almost like you're holding back to protect yourself from perhaps like harsh criticisms or just like, you know, being hurt by somebody's views or what they think. But in reality, I feel like 
as things turn, the more vulnerable you get, the more open that you get in the situation, the better it pays off. Whatever this is that you're doing here, because, you know, this is a spiritual reading. So I feel like there's a project involved, but it's from the depths of your soul. And so that's great, but you're going to have, you know, if, if that's what you're choosing to do, you got to kind of bear your soul, you know? Um, and I just feel like there's like this irrational fear and it might tie into insecurities and self-worth or value, you know? It's just sort of being afraid to fail or hear harsh words or something, you know? It just, those things happen in life, but you can't just hold yourself back from winning. Because, I mean, the end result's the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, if we're completing this challenge. The overall energy of the whole spread is the Four of Wands. So whatever this is, it involves like your life purpose. So it is a big deal. But how do you, how do you express your entire life without any type of openness or vulnerability, right? But again, I just feel like it's like a self doubt, some like just simple insecurities, and you know. You kind of put yourself out there. Maybe you'll just see otherwise, you know? Maybe you'll realize that people, like, love what you do and they can, you know, really deeply resonate with it. So, all in all, it's saying to have fun with it and don't be scared. <laughs> um, but I feel as, like, a spiritual reading, I feel like this is an insecurity that's kind of always gotten in the way of things. And I feel like... In the very near future, you're about to slay this demon that, you know, tells you that you're not good enough. And part of it is what's happening right now. Everything that you kind of dream of, dreamt of or wanted to happen here is really happening. But remember that it came from having faith and optimism and believing in yourself. So we can't, once we see the results, we can't kind of like... <laughs> you know, just kind of pull back and be like, wait, do I, you know, just believe in yourself. Okay. That's what I have for you guys. Oh, and don't forget that uh, the personal readings for Taurus are 25% off during Taurus season. And if it's your birthday this week, happy birthday. All right, bye.